Hey everyone, my name is Edine. I am one third of the Flipped team alongside with my beautiful wife Melinda and our beautiful partner Shane. Yeah, I'll go with that. Alongside with my beautiful partners, Shane and Melinda, we've created Flip That. We're excited to announce that the import function is now live for both Android and Apple, and you can use it today. In this video, I'm going to cut straight to the point and just show you simply how to do that, along with sharing the website and email and all of the help that you need in the description below and in this video. Let's get right into it. When you open your app, I'm using iPhone, but it's the same exact thing on Android. You're going to go over to settings and down to import. Here you have those options I just spoke about. So you can download the template, copy the link so you can go to the website or email the link so that you can go to the website and grab it there. Since I already have it, I'm just going to go ahead and select file to upload and I'm going to use an example. These are all the files on my phone. This is the one that I'm choosing. It's an example called year title blanks. You can ignore that part. You can name yours, whatever you'd like at this point. It shows that I have 85 items to import, zero unlisted, zero listed and 85 sold. That's the file. I verified it according to what I actually want to import. I'm going to tap import. It's going to give you a little message. that basically says if it's a little sluggish, just give it a second login, log out. And that's it. All of mine have been imported. And to verify that, you can actually go to one of the items you imported and it'll give you a note at the bottom that states that it was imported and the date. That's it. That's as simple as it is. As far as uploading the file itself, let me show you what that actually looks like because it really is just, it's just copy and pasting at this point. Now, keep in mind, this is import 1.0 and keep in mind that the website that you see flashing uh, right here somewhere that's the website you can go to for the actual step-by-step -step directions plus to get the template. So you can go directly there to make things easier. In addition to this video, I hope that's enough information for you to do this. If you get stuck, please email me directly at imports at getflip.com. That's imports at getflip.com. That email is here on the screen as well. Or simply use the in-app live chat to communicate with us and we would love to help you out. All of the links, including the website with all the instructions, our email, all of that is going to be in the description box below the video. So just go down, look below the video, and you'll see all that information as well, in case you missed it as it might have flown by on the screen too fast. Obviously, you can rewind and pause the video too. Let's look at that template and let's talk about how to get it to your phone so you can upload it. This also works on devices such as iPads and tablets for Android. Here is what the website looks like. And I'm sorry this isn't the most professional how-to video in the world, but I wanted to get this information out to you guys quickly. So if you scroll down, you can grab your template, your Excel spreadsheet by clicking where it says here, where my mouse is right in the corner or by tapping on this large Excel icon. Once you do that, it'll download it to your computer. This only works with Excel for the time being. I'm going to go ahead and enable edit and then here I can just start copy pasting all of my information. So we need a title in order to import it. Uh, categories, optional, cost of goods, date acquired, date listed, quantity, storage unit, date sold, sold platform, gross sales, shipping cost, approximate fees and adjustments, which would be any partial returns or refunds. All of those are optional. Obviously, if the item hasn't sold yet, it's just going to have a date listed. If it hasn't been listed yet, it would just have a title, category, cost of goods, and date acquired. The more information you put in here, the better. Uh, garbage in, garbage out applies here very well. The best data you can come up with, the best import experience you're going to have. Once you go ahead and populate that, you save it to your computer and then just simply follow the instructions with screenshots. Select the file to upload. It shows you right here how exactly to save the file. It goes down to uploading the file as well and then reviewing the counters just like I just showed you. Then the year drop down is dynamic, meaning if you have data going back to 2000 or 2005 or 15 or whatever, it's going to show on there. And then your drop down menu is going to have all of those years. And then this is where my video will be. So ignore this video for now as this video will replace that video. So again, that's getflip.com slash import dash data dot HTML as you see on the screen or in the description box below. 
Here's an example of me getting a file on my computer, saving it on my computer, then emailing it to myself to get it on my phone. So once I do that, I'm going to go ahead and tap on it. Here's my data. I'm going to tap this upper right hand corner upload button. And then I'm going to go ahead and save to file, which is down here, just like the instructions showed you. And I'm going to tap save one more time. Now I go back to my flipped app. I'm going to go up to settings again. I'm going to import file, select the file, and it's going to be that one I just saved. And it goes through that process again of uploading it. You can change file if you by mistake uh, chose one that's not right. And if you have any errors, it's going to show you right on the screen. We really appreciate you guys staying patient with us. This has been in the works for about a month and a half now, and this is just import 1.0. We are already working on the second version, which will make this even easier. And it will in the future recognize spreadsheets from other platforms as well. A lot more information coming. Thank you guys as always for using Flipped. If you've had a pleasant experience, please do leave us a five-star review on the Apple App Store or the Google Play Store. Thank you kindly on behalf of Shane, Melinda, and myself, the Flip team. We appreciate you, and we'll see you in the next one. Take care.